Hello, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. It's time to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It's time to meet our first player. Glad to be here, Jeff. Okay, let me tell you how this works. On the board are ten subjects. They range in difficulty from first grade to fifth grade. Now the idea here is to pick someone smarter than you to be your classmate. It's you and me, George. Here are the subjects for today's game. U.S. Geography, Spelling, U.S. History, Grammar, Math, Life Science, Physical Science, Vocabulary, Social Studies, World History. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. Which subject do you feel confident with? My favorites are definitely U.S. History, Life Science, and World History. All right, that's good to know. Life science. Okay, you're playing for $1,000 on this first question. I'm going to lock in my answer. Now where I come from, $1, they call that the right answer. All right. Let's pick a subject. World history. Okay, the $2,000 question is... George locked in his answer very quickly. Good job. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in. You've got $2,000. All right. It's time to pick another classmate. I'm going to pick Juliet. You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. What do you think we should do here? My best subjects are U.S. Geography, Social Studies, and Grammar. Hmm. All right, thanks. Grammar. Okay, for $5,000, here is the question. On. Locking in. That one pretty fast, and believe Five it or not, it's the right answer. All right. Pick another subject. Social studies. Okay, the $10,000 question is... Your classmate is now locked in. I'll peek at my classmate's answer. Now let's see your classmate's answer. Okay, I'm locking in my Now's answer. Now's the time to lock in your answer. You've got ten thousand dollars. Woohoo! Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time, so pick another classmate. I'm going to pick Alicia. Pick another subject. What do you think I should pick? Well, I think I'm good at math and vocabulary. Hmm. All right, thanks. Math. Okay, you get this next question right. You leave with $25,000 no matter what happens the rest of the game. 100 divided by 10 equals 10. Locking in. You've got $25,000. Woohoo! This subject must be your specialty. Vocabulary. Let's pick a subject. Okay, no matter what happens, you've got $25,000.
It's almost like a freebie question, because if you get it wrong, the worst thing that can happen to you is you walk away with the exact amount of money that you have right now. Jeff, I'm going to use my cup. You're going for $50,000. You've got $50,000. $50, yes! It's time to call a new classmate to the podium. I'm going to go with Jeremy. Pick another subject. Which subject do you feel confident with? My favorites are definitely U.S. history and spelling. Glad I asked. U.S. history. Okay, you're playing for $100,000. Jeremy locked in his answer very quickly. Betsy. Locking in. You've got $100,000. Woohoo! That was just a guess. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? Spelling. Which subject do you want? Okay, you're playing for $175,000. Which of these letters is not a consonant? E. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. That was pretty fast. More importantly, though, you're right. Dollars. Excellent. Great job. You're down to your last classmate. Which subject do you want? What do you think I should pick? Well, I'm actually pretty good at U.S. geography and physical science. Hmm. All right, thanks. Physical science. All right, here's our question for $300,000. Series. Your classmate is now locked in. Locking in. There you go. You're locked in. You're going for $300,000. You've got three hundred thousand dollars. Awesome. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? U.S. geography. Okay, for half a million dollars, here's the question. I'm gonna go ahead. Your classmate is locked in. Montana. I have no okay. idea. I'm locking in my answer. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. Hmm. You're going for $500,000. There's right answers, and then there's wrong answers. And that belongs in the second group. A day. Oh. No. Aw, oh, man. Let's see if your classmate knows this stuff any better than you do. These fifth graders Utah. must have studied even if you didn't because that is the right $500, answer. Five hundred thousand dollars. You've got five hundred thousand dollars. Luckily, you've got a pretty smart classmate there. Thank you so much, buddy. You do understand what you're going to be playing for next, right? You bet. This next question will win you one million dollars and you will prove that you are indeed smarter than a fifth grader. Here's how this deal works. I'm going to tell you the subject of the million dollar question and right then and there you'll have to decide if you mm -hmm. want to try to answer it or not. Let's see what the subject of the million dollar question is. And there it is, oh. the million dollar subject. Sure. I'm going for the million, baby. You're playing for one million dollars. 
What is the name of a medium in which a form is created out of newspaper and a watery paste? One million dollars is on the line here, so take your time and think about it very carefully before you decide to lock in your answer. Oh my, I can't take much more of this. Good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. No, I don't. That is incorrect. Ah! Wow. I just flunked out. Okay, let's see the correct answer. Paper mache. Okay. We reached the end of the line, my friend. You just flunked out of school. I can't believe it. I am now smaller than the fifth grade. All right, it is time to say those eight magic words. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody. Hi, I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It's time to pick which fifth grader you want to help you out. It's you and me, Juliet. Here are the subjects for today's game. Ooh. Help. Okay, for $1,000, here's the question. Your classmate is locked in. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. I'm going to pick Lewis. I'm going to lock in my answer. Locking in. You must have learned something in school because that's the right answer. One thousand dollars. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's, it's the, right, the answer. right answer. All right. You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. Awesome. Next, animal science. Okay, the $2,000 question is... Juliet has locked in her response. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm gonna pee. I'll peek at my classmate's answer. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. Locking in. Okay, it's time to check out your classmate's answer. Now's the time to lock in your answer. I'm going to lock in my answer. You've got $2,000. All right. You've got $2,000. All right.
You sure answered that one fast. You also answered it wrong. Kid. Okay, it's time to check out your classmate's answer. These fifth graders must have studied even if you didn't because that is the right answer. Woo! You've got $2,000. It's time to call a new classmate to the podium. I'm going to go with Lucas. Oops. Okay, for $5,000, here is the question. Lewis locked in his answer very quickly. Uh, just in case. I'd like to use my copy, Jeff. I'm going to go with Lewis. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. I'm going to go with George. Locking in. You've got $5,000. $5,000. All right. I like that answer. It's not right, but I like it. <sighs> oh, no. Let's see if your classmate Was knows this stuff any igneous? better than you do. Igneous? These fifth graders yep. really know their stuff. All right. You've got $5,000. You've got $5,000. Awesome. Oh. All right, for $10,000, may we see the question, please? I'm going to just say true. I'm going to lock in my answer. Locking in. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You've got ten thousand dollars. Yes. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. Awesome. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. All right. We have to say goodbye to this classmate. Okay. It's you and me, Alicia. Science. All right, here's our question for $25,000. Alicia has locked in her answer. STEM. Locking in. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. Locking in. That is incorrect.
Ote. Ah. Oh, man. Let's see if your partner can handle this one. Yes, sir. C. You just got saved by a fifth grader. Yes, yes. $25,000. You've got $25,000. That was pretty fast. More importantly, though, you're right. <laughs> you answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the it's right, right answer. answer. <laughs> U.S. Geography. Okay, the $50,000 question is... True. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. Locking in. In his locking in, that's it. Fifty that's the thousand right dollars. All right, that's not the right answer. Mm. Oh, man. Show us the correct answer, please. I'm sorry, but you have flunked out of school. Oh, man, I thought for sure I had it. That was pretty fast. More importantly, though, you're right. Yes! Or geography. Okay, you're playing for one hundred thousand dollars. Three sisters. I'm going to lock in my answer. Locking in. This ain't the first time your instincts oh, have led you astray, is it? Ah! Oh, oh, I can't believe it. Okay, let's see the correct answer. I am not small. We reached the end of the line, my friend. You just flunked out of school. I can't believe what a moron I am. That is. Incorrect. Huh. Wow, I was sure about that one, too. That's all she wrote, partner. You just flunked out. I can't believe what a moron I am. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody. All right. What you're going to do here is pick out which fifth grader you want to help you answer. I'm going to go with Jeremy. Here are the subjects for today's game. Help. Okay. The $1,000 question is... Locking in.
good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. I'm going to pick Juliet. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. You've got $1,000. $1,000. Excellent. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. All right. You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. Hmm. Geography. Okay, the $2,000 question is... It's definitely not messy though. Jeremy has locked in his response. I'd like to use my peak cheat, Jeff. Lock in my answer. Locking in. May we please see your classmate's answer? If that's the answer you want to go with, locking in. No, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh man, that's just incredible. That is just incredible. Okay, let's see the correct answer. I am not We've sure the end of the line, my friend. You just flunked out of school. I can't believe what a moron I am. Hmm. That is incorrect. <sighs> no. Oh man. Let's see if your partner knows what the answer is. Sometimes even fifth graders get some wrong. I'm sorry, but you have flunked out of school. Oh no, I can't believe I missed that one. That's not the right answer. Mm. Wow, I was sure about that one too. Okay, it's time to check out your classmate's answer. I guess that really was a tough one. I'm sorry, but you have flunked out of school. I can't believe what a moron I am. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody. I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It's time. Pick a classmate, and let's get started. Okay, it's you and me, Alicia. Here are the subjects. English. Okay, for $1,000, here's the question. Alicia locked in her answer very quickly. Let me say you. Locking in. I'm going to go with Julie. Locking in. Okay, it's you and me, Alicia. I think I'm going to peek. Now let's see your classmate's answer. If you're happy with that answer, go ahead and lock it in. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. That 
That is incorrect. Ah. Oh, man. That's just incredible. Time to find out if your partner knows the answer. Yes, sir. You just got saved by a fifth grader. Woo. You've got $1,000. You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. Excellent. You've got $1,000. Excellent. Okay. The $2,000 question is four. Locking in. I'm going to lock in my answer. Locking in. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. Yes! You've got $2,000. Awesome. You've got $2,000. Excellent! It's time to decide which one of these young scholars you... I'm going to pick Jeremy. Okay. The $5,000 question is... Obtain. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. Locking in. about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. Now where I come from, Five they call that dollars. a right answer. Excellent. You've got $5,000. Yes. <laughs> you answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. Physical science. Okay, the $10,000 question is... Your classmate is now locked in. I think silver is a G. I think gold is a U. Locking in. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. I think I'm going to copy. $10,000. Woohoo! Wow. You know, I thought it would take you a lot longer to come up with the wrong answer. Oh, oh man. man. That's just That's incredible. incredible. Time to find out if your partner knows the answer. These fifth graders really know their stuff. Woo! 
You've got $10,000. You've got $10,000. All right. It's time to pick another classmate. It's you and me, George. Math. All right, here's our question for $25,000. Locking in. Locking in. Locking in. You got that one. Twenty-five thousand right. dollars. Woohoo! You've got twenty-five thousand dollars. Woohoo! You've got twenty-five thousand dollars. U.S. Geography. Okay, you're playing for fifty thousand dollars. Uh. George has locked in his response. Let me say false. Locking in. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. That's what? not the right answer. Oh. Uh, no! Aw, oh. oh, man. What's the correct answer? I'm sorry, but you have flunked out of school. Wow. I just flunked out. You've got $50,000. All right. You sure answered that one fast. You also answered it wrong. Let's see if your partner knows what the answer is. That question was hard enough to even stump the fifth graders. I'm sorry, but you have flunked out of school. I can't believe it. Okay, the $100,000 question is... Well, it's been a fun ride, but I'm going to stop here. I'm going to drop out. You've dropped out of school. You've won $50,000. Before you go, I need you to tell the entire world that you are not smarter than a fifth grader. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you again next time. Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? 